Greetings, YouTube. So, today, nearly almost to the day, a year later, we're going to look at wave two of the combatants fight for glory line. So, they've upped their game with this particular wave. You know, the first wave, you had three kind of random gladiator dudes and they were very well done. Lots of people liked them. I know I did. Um, they were good custom fodder. They were good to use as, as is. There were uh, companies, overseas companies, making add-ons of garments and different armor pieces for them. So it was a pretty well received um, first attempt. And there was a few QC issues that some people had. I personally didn't, but I saw people that had QC issues but they teased or they showed this particular array of figures for wave two. And it was like, oh, you guys are going deep into the gladiator stuff. So we got three new gladiators and we got two Roman or kind of Imperial, if you don't want to call them Roman soldiers and they look awesome. So let's open these guys up and take a look. So actually, before we open them up, I'm going to take a quick look at the box art and I'm going to show you the bios that they put for each figure and you can pause it and read it if you want to. Um, so we'll start with Ambil Ambilis. And I don't know if you can even see that, but there's his bio. Next, we have Solomon. And there is his write up. Then we have uh, Marius Avidus. There's his write up. Regular Roman soldier. Praetorian guard. And then we have Gaius Pontidius Stolo, the Praetorian prefect or the general or leader type guy. All right, so let's bust these guys open and see how they are looking. Um, so this is the Praetorian Guard. Nickname is the Jackals. Uh, these are basically just cannon fodder, um, Roman guards that would be, you know, with the prefect protecting him at these events, at these gladiator events, and then also going to war for the Roman Empire. Accessories. He gets a spear, and this tip here is actually detachable. Um, he has four extra hands, and I want to say that in wave one, we did not get extra hands. There was maybe an extra arm. I want to say um, Hyena, that might be his name. I think he had an extra arm. One was armored and one was not. Um, you get a sheath for your sword, and you also get the sword, which is uh, the gladius-type sh sword. And then you get this huge shield. It's very well done. Handle on the back. Excellent paintwork. Nothing looks sloppy here. The figure itself, spectacular looking. Um, they really outdid themselves with this wave. Um, the first wave, they didn't really have to do a ton of paint apps because the guys were basically almost naked. Um, but, you know, this, this dude is spectacularly done. Now, with that comes a bit of a downside. Um, so real quick, this helmet here, this is also an accessory because that is detachable. He has the metal mask. The metal mask is not detachable. So it's basically just a generic head with a metal mask on the front. Um, the shoulder pieces are pegged into the back. So you, those are detachable. You could take those off if you wanted to. The chest armor and the torso armor, beautifully painted, beautifully adorned, excellent sculpt however it is basically just his torso 
it does not come off and there's no articulation under there. So that is a bit of a bummer. I mean, you gotta take the good with the bad sometimes. That is an excellent looking soldier, but he can't move a whole lot, you know, in the waist. What we do get though, is the skirt piece and there's little like slits in it, but it's not cut all the way. So I'm guessing they made those slits. So if you wanted to improve the articulation, at least with the legs, you could go ahead and cut those slits. It should maintain its general shape. And then you'll be able to go out and do a little bit more with his legs because his legs have all the articulation they should. They're just hindered by this um, beautifully painted and beautifully adorned skirt, skirt piece. Um, wristbands, great. This dude looks great. Again, this is supposed to be like your cannon fodder, like an army builder, like you could have troops of these guys. So, good with the bad. Lots of good, only a little bit of bad. All right, let's move on to the Praetorian Prefect. All right, next on the docket, we have Gaius Pontidius Stolo, Praetorian Prefect of the Roman Empire. So, um, he looks great. He looks very similar to the, um, to the army builder, but he has a couple of subtle differences with his armor. Um, they have the same insignia on the chest. Their skirt piece and loin piece looks the same. Belt looks the same. But um, he has some extras as far as his armor goes and his accoutrement, as it were. So his shoulder pieces are different. They have the kind of tassels here and this... Um, this medallion on each side. And then he has this beautiful, and I'm talking about beautiful cloth goods, Roman cape. Oh my God. Like I was not expecting it to look this good. Like it's almost like a velvety feel. Now, it's not wired, but it is folded properly to where you have like the the back of the neck showing with the Roman uh, capes what the soldiers used to wear. I mean, oh, this dude looks great. Great, great. Great face sculpt there. He's got the gray hair because he's an older guy. The rest of him is pretty much like the uh, soldier. So let's look at his accessories. That cape is awesome, FYI. Um, he comes with an extra head. This one's got the gold metal face. You've got this standard. The gold eagle at the top. This, this uh, accessory is awesome, by the way. This is spectacular looking. Very nice. So ornate and regal, very Roman. Here's the Gladius sword, which I didn't show with the other guy, but it's the same sword, so I'll show you here. Beautifully painted, beautifully sculpted. Uh, Zesray, Zexray, X-Ray, they're doing really good work with this line. Here's his dagger. That is also beautifully sculpted, beautifully painted. His helmet with the ornate top. And we'll see how this fits on his head. Fits on perfectly. Looks really good. One side's a little bit bent in, but that can be fixed. He looks great. Like, when have we gotten a 112 Roman soldier? 
awesome. And just so we can see here, helmet does fit on both heads very well. Just awesome, awesome work that they're doing. All right, let's move on to the gladiators. <laughs> 